In this video we're going to show you how you can make beautiful festive decorations for your mantelpiece or your table or anywhere in the house out of simple jam jars from the kitchen plus clippings from the garden, twigs and little pieces of ivy. It's really simple so stay with us. So, it's Alexandra from the Middle Size Garden and Julie Davis from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower arranging class. First, get your jam jar. My jam jars have all got sticky labels, sometimes several of them. And so in order to get them off and to get them completely clean, I first soak them overnight. Then there are two ways of getting that kind of slightly sort of sticky residue off. The first one is to do half and half with bicarbonate of soda, known in the States as baking soda, and any kind of cooking oil. Mix them like one tablespoon of each, mix them together, smear them over the sticky part of the glass, and then leave them for half an hour, and then scrub off with wire wool, and then wash the, the jar. The other way is to use um, some kind of domestic vinegar, not a smart vinegar at all, but just something domestic, and spray that over and then let that soak in. And also, once again, scrub it off with wire wool and then wash the jar with hot water and soap. So I'm going to show you how to make some Christmas arrangements in jam jars. In fact, I've got three jars in front of me. One's a little kiln jar, it's a lovely sort of bulbous pot. And then a jam jar, a Bon Maman jam jar. This is the one that's got the really distinctive flat planes to it and then just an ordinary jar which I'm guessing probably had some honey in it. Now for this arrangement, although I love the Bon Maman and the Kilner jar, I'm not going to use them. I think they would be absolutely lovely just with little night lights flickering in them but when you're decorating a jam jar the easiest thing to do is to use the jar that's absolutely got straight sides. You'll find that if you're going to put double-sided tape on there or just fixing things to the outside they're going to hold much more. So I've got my straight sided jam jar here and my secret tip here for decorating your jars is to get hold of some elastic bands. Now, ever the recycler, I pick these up from the street. You know when the postie's dropped off your Christmas packages, there's always a trail of elastic bands. And what I'm going to do is to secure the band onto the jam jar. Now, if you had a taller jar, you may find that you wanted to add a second band of elastic band but I think I'll be able to get away with just one for the moment and don't worry this elastic band isn't going to show at the end and what I'm going to do is to take these lovely silver birch branches or, or anything you can find that's it's quite skinny and pliable and just got little knobbly buds on it so it's just got a bit of added interest and if I undo those in fact for speed I'm going to cut away those elastic bands and taking two or three stems at a time I'm going to feed these into the jar. Now you'll see that my silver birch stem is huge compared to the length of my jam jar, so I'm going to make things easier and with my sturdy scissors, cut straight across and get rid of those um, the, the thicker, chunky bits at the end. And in fact, I don't throw anything away because you may find, if you, get the, if you get the bug of decorating your jars, that you want to use those for another project. So, turn the jar on its side, I slide the twigs under the elastic band and they will just hold in place. So bear with me a moment as I go through and add in more stems. Now if you're a really neat worker, you might want to put these stems in individually and line them up so they all look beautiful. But for speed, I am doing it in little bundles and go around. And it's up to you then, depending on how many sticks you've got, as to whether you bundle them really tightly together so there's no gaps, you know, really squeezed up tight, or whether if you haven't got that many sticks that you separate them out a little bit or on the table. And I'm going to keep these little fine dainty bits at the top there. And you could, although I wouldn't put a lit candle in there, you can get these battery operated night lights and that would look really lovely flickering away in the distance. But I want to get rid of this um, elastic band. It's done its job now. All it was doing was holding things in place while I put my twigs in. So I'll take some garden twine. And what I tend to do is keep it on the reel because you never know how much twine you're going to need and really firmly, and I can crisscross up and down. And again, making this part of the detail on the jar. So I'm showing off my workings. Cut that off and I'm just going to tie a knot. 
So you can do this quite speedily and as I say, if you're a really neat worker, you might spend more time making your string look more attractive. And then I'm going to cut away the elastic band because I don't want anyone to see that. That's done its job now. You can do this with any size of jam jar and you can also use lots of different clippings from the garden. Here Julie has used dried fennel stalks and seed heads as well as rosemary and rosemary will probably stay green for a couple of weeks. We've arranged a mix of different jars done with different clippings from the garden on the mantelpiece with battery fairy lights and ivy from the garden. And you can also fill jars with things like pine cones and baubles. However, never put any twigs or leaves or vegetation inside the jar if you're going to use an open flame. Night lights in jam jars are probably the safest open flame decoration for your home, but no candle or night light should ever be left unattended. And don't set bare candles into greenery, however nice that looks on Pinterest. If they fall down or they burn down, they could set your home on fire. Julie Davis runs flower arranging workshops and she also offers Flower Start, a terrific four week online flower arranging course, which you can do when you've got time. There are details in the description below and there are lots more Christmas garden and Christmas decorating ideas coming up on the Middle Sized Garden YouTube channel. So do subscribe and hope to see you then. Bye.